Welcome back to another adventure video where I investigate tip-offs sent to me by the community. And something is going on at Nex, one of the highest level bosses in old school RuneScape. I've gotten a dozen tip-offs or so in the last week, so I went to Nex to check it out. But it's not that simple. You can't spectate fights, and you can't even enter the fight when Nex is already being fought. So I basically have to catch the bots briefly running back to Nex between kills. The tip-off said the bots are in Armadale with an ancient coif, and they're pretty low level. So I was hopping through worlds, and when I saw this level 97 idling, I got a little suspicious. It has 98 range, basically base stat requirements for Nex, and no boss kill counts except 318 Nex kills. But it's also using 120 mil worth of gear, which is a lot for a bot that might get banned. And then the account tellies out, which seems like a complete waste of the kill count it needed to get into this area. Five minutes later, I find it getting its kill count back up, and it doesn't react or respond to me at all. Here's another dimension of botting at Nex. The bots must be coordinating somehow because they definitely aren't soloing the boss. So where are the bots' robot teammates? The tip-offs I got say the bots are in six-man teams. So something else I could do is check if Nex is being killed, and if it's a six-man team, spam click the door as the kill ends and see if I can get a glimpse of what's happening inside. If I'm wrong, I need to get kill count just to check again. So I keep hopping through worlds, and I finally find a pattern. Another account, almost exactly the same stats, same gear, this time 534 Nex kill count, just sitting alone, waiting. But this time, Nex is being killed. That's why the door is red instead of purple. So I peek the door, and there are six adventurers killing Nex. That's the number from the tip-offs. The account logs out, and I start spam clicking the door. While I'm waiting to break into the room, another account comes in from getting kill count, identical to the first two. Pretty suspicious. Finally, this kill is ending, and I get through the door. And the strangest thing happens. Six identical accounts, just like the first three, looks like they're looting the kill, and within a few ticks of seeing me, they all log out. I think it's because I'm there. It definitely seemed like a reaction to me joining. I look up each account, all have almost identical stats and 500 next kills each. I'm not done uncovering this bot farm surprises, but first, I have something pretty special to show you today from Red Magic. The unboxing experience of this product does not disappoint. This is the Red Magic 8 Pro mobile phone. If you can even call it a phone, this thing is as powerful as some PCs. This phone has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigs of storage. It has a very nice weight to it, and the screen is huge. The back is actually clear and has a 50 megapixel camera. I set the phone up. It came with this clear protective case for the back as well, but it has thumbprint ID, and the first thing you notice is there's no bezel on it. It's just all screen, which looks very sleek. There's a red switch on the side of it, and when you turn it on, it triggers the gaming studio and switches the phone into gaming mode. Once you open a game, you can swipe to see all sorts of features and usage stats. For example, the phone has left and right trigger buttons on it, which you can map to any part of the screen. Great for first person shooters, but check this out. For RuneScape, I've mapped the right trigger to the prayer icon so I can prayer flick by just tapping my right trigger. And the left trigger is mapped to open inventory. All of a sudden, I have two more fingers to play RuneScape on my phone than I would have. And guess what this is on the back? It's a fan that's part of the cooling system necessary for so much power in gaming mode. And it turns on and lights up when you're gaming. I was testing out Call of Duty and noticed it activated. So if you're interested in learning more about the Red Magic 8 Pro, or if you're sold and wanna buy it, click the link in the description. Thanks to Red Magic for sponsoring this video. We're back and after I found all those bots logging out, I need to get my kill count up again. And while I'm doing that, I run into another bot-like account. But this time it has higher stats, just high enough for Song of the Elves in fact, and it has over 1k next kill count, but also 4,000 Corrupted Gauntlet kills. I've covered a bot farm at the Corrupted Gauntlet before, and it looks like someone who runs a bot farm there has repurposed some of the bots as next bots. A few hours later of scouting, and I find another group of bots finishing up a kill, just like before, they all log as soon as I enter the room. And they all have over 1,000 next kill count, and over 3,000 Corrupted Gauntlet KC each. Interesting. So I still haven't found a group of the bots going into next together, and I stumbled on this level 97 in World 323, and I actually was able to tell the other it. It had Accept Aid on. Fast forward 15 minutes, in World 388, I see five bots just 
waiting. And I think it might be because the bot in World 323 is broken. Maybe from that Telly Other spell I cast on it. So I decide to stake it out and see what happens. The thinking here is if I go in with them right before they start the kill and before Nex spawns, they'll probably all log out. But if I go in right at the last tick when Nex is spawning and they're in combat, they can't log out and I'll be able to observe them. So I actually waited over 90 minutes. These accounts stayed logged in the whole time, as did the one in World 323. I actually stopped recording because the files were getting so big. Then all of a sudden, the account hops to World 388 and they all enter. When you peek the door, the message says Nex hasn't spawned yet. As soon as that changes to Nex is imbued with smoke, I can enter for a split second. And clearly, the bot maker considered this. They all instantly tell you when I enter. They're programmed to avoid other players at all costs. I think after a kill, they scatter to different worlds to get their kill count up again, since I never see them getting kill count in the same world together, just separately. I think the only way to actually catch them going in like I did is because I tell you other that one in World 323. So I reported my findings to the anti-cheating team and the results were kind of surprising. First, they told me the system was already banning these bots and they weren't actually that new. Which surprised me, but it actually makes sense because I was looking back in the 15,000 tip-offs I've received and I did get a tip-off about next bots five months ago that I missed with video attached. And it looks like pretty similar evidence to what I've collected, except these bots don't instantly teleport when someone enters, so it's probably an earlier version of the script. That also means though the person who recorded this was able to observe the bot kills. Most of these accounts are now banned, but two of them hadn't been, and both have over 5,000 next kills. They also have over 2,000 forecast kills. But the anti-cheating team told me they found 40 next bots, which they immediately banned, and their average play time is 26 days and across the accounts a total of 9.7 billion GP was removed. They also told me the accounts were likely purchased, so the script doesn't actually create the accounts. Whoever ran the bots purchased ready-made Nex accounts. The 20 bots I found had a total kill count of 15,000 Nex KC. And Nex kills are worth a little bit over 1 million GP each because of how expensive the rares are, meaning the 20 bots I found had made well over 15 bill at Nex. So in total, the 40 bots banned had probably made over 30 billion GP. It's a pretty interesting bot bust, which would not have been possible without the tip-offs from the community. So nice work. Recently, I also received a tip-off with video footage of a bot I've never been able to find in-game, but I assumed might exist. And that is a fully automated fire cape bot. Not just some cheat plugin that switches prayers for you, but a script that actually repeatedly farms the entire caves. And this tip-off finally provided video proof that it exists. I was sent roughly five minutes of footage of the script, including it killing Jad and receiving a fire cape. It's basically impossible to find these bots in game since they're in an instance for 99% of the script. It's just crazy how far scripts have come. Bots working together in six-man teams at Nex, and bots getting fire capes without any manual help. I mean, fire capes used to be a signal that you're one of the better players in game, and now it's at least still an OG challenge for upper mid-level players. I guess it's only a matter of time before there's a fully automated infernal cape script, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist right now. Someone sent me a tip-off with the headline, GE Money Laundering. The tip-off says this player has been killing lots of Lava Dragon bots who drop iron daggers, they use them to cut the web in the wilderness, and when the player put the 100 daggers on the Grand Exchange, they sold for 1,200 GP each, more than 10 times their actual value. This person ended the tip off with, do your thing, Mr. Pugger. First of all, thanks for the tip, and nice work killing so many bots. The first step is to see if I can replicate this. So I made 100 iron daggers, and then I put in an offer into the GE, selling them for 1,111 GP each. It took about a week, but they all sold. That makes me think it's not money laundering. Lots of the GE money launderers don't usually use the same item within a short period of time. Here's what I think. Over 100 Lava Dragon bots are created every day or two and banned. Every single one buys at least one Iron Dagger, probably more like over 10. Regular players don't sell that many Iron Daggers, so when the supply on the GE is less than what the bot farm demands, the Iron Daggers sell for much higher. The bots buy them for a lot. So really, what you're doing is you're killing the bots, looting the Iron Daggers, and then selling them back to the bot farm at 10 times the price of the dagger. 10 out of 10 job. You're not just killing the bots, but you're also likely ripping them off on the GE. 
Hope that answers the tip-off. A couple tip-offs came in about a bot farm at Elder Chaos Druids in the wilderness. Apparently the bots are wearing whips and monk robes. Let's check it out. This place is so dead other than a few one-off PVMers, so it was pretty easy to find the sus accounts. Most are mid-70s melee stats, 52 prayer, and at least 64 fire making for some reason. But like the tip-off said, they're wearing monk robes and whips. They don't telly at all from what I can tell. Like. You could be skulled, you could attack them. I did teleblock them just to make sure, but they also don't have much food since there's a prayer altar here, so they're pretty quick kills. The loot really just depends on the loot the bots have gotten, but generally isn't great. Lots of herbs, maybe some rune boots, 40 to 50-ish K on average. I still killed a bunch of them since I was already here though, and I reported a list of the names to Jagex, most are now banned. Sometimes I just stumble on mildly sus stuff, like I tullied into Castle Wars and there were a couple accounts in Snakeskin and Green Dehyde. They have about 1,000 total level, but 106 attack, strength, and defense. Not really any other super high stats. The other one had even higher melee stats, but both only had 50 ranged. And clearly their training range based on their gear. Now a week later I look them up and the first account has 88 ranged, and the second account isn't on the high scores at all. Double name changed or banned. Kind of bizarre, right? Like what could they possibly have been doing to get such high melee stats with no boss KC, low slayer level, so they're not even wyvern bots? Let me know what you think in the comments and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.